Michaela Ann, you are wonderfully and beautifully created by God. In November 2019, I truly believe God was working behind the scenes to get me to Cleveland that D-Nail weekend. From there, our journey really took off, and I knew when I left, I was going to marry you. From November 2019 until today, you have shown me grace, you have shown me your passion to love one another, and most importantly, you have shown me that you are in this for the rest of your life. With that, I'm truly grateful. I would love to tell you all that I was the one to introduce Michaela and Jason, but I actually found out about it the same way most of you did via Facebook. And one thing I've noticed um, and loved about their relationship is how much Jason cherishes Michaela. And it's very clear that she's such a priority to you. And it just warms my heart whenever you post just one picture of her on Instagram just to say how beautiful she is. <laughs> and you know, as her best friend, there's not much more that I could want for her besides that. What I love about Jason is I love Jason's heart. I love how he loves people. Um, I, I wouldn't be the person I am today if it wasn't for Jason. We've literally stuck with each other from thick and thin and uh, we've really helped each other out in multiple different ways. And uh, I'm just, you know, being a twin, there's just no better privilege, no better honor. And uh, I'm just so thankful for our relationship and how I just love him. Michaela, it's been an honor to, to get to know you over the years. Just to see how you love Jason just means so much to us. And, and we are honestly so honored to have you just become a part of our family. <laughs> you don't have to cry. <laughs> Dear Jason, you are my world. I can't believe this day has finally come. One many of us have been hoping and praying for. As we know, our journey to this moment has not been the easiest, especially with the long distant drives and the many late night FaceTime calls. Today ends the many miles of traveling to see each other and those late night calls. Michaela Ann, I'm praying Ephesians 3.20 over our marriage, that God will do more than we could think or imagine. I believe God has great things in store for both of us. No matter what comes our way, there will be good and bad things that will come. No matter what happens, I will always Love you. Many years ago, I started praying for my kids to have a godly Christian spouse. And along comes this preacher from Murfreesboro. the night I knew I was gonna marry you. You probably don't even remember saying this because it was such a simple act. We had just FaceTimed for the first time ever and we were on the phone for hours. Before we said goodnight, you asked me, can I pray for you? Jason, I love you. 
Jason, you are the type of man I have been praying for my whole life. I prayed for someone to love me and to pursue me like Christ does. And you do that so well. Throughout our whole relationship, you have shown me what pure, unconditional love is. Jason, you may kiss your bride. You know I can't wait to walk this journey called life with you right by my side. I love you to the moon and back, JC. I love you. Mm -hmm. Just watch how I do it, how I do it Just watch how I do it, how I do it Just watch how I do it, let me show you what I do, what I do Just watch how I do it, yeah this is how I do it, how I do it I got to show ya, let me show you what I do, what I do Just watch how I do it, yeah this is how I do it, how I do it Just watch me, watch me how I do it Just watch how I do it let me show you what I do, what I do Just watch how I do it, yeah this is how I do it, how I do it I got to show you, let me show you what I do, what I do Just watch how I do it, yeah this is how I do it, how I do it Just watch me Watch me how I do it. Just watch how I do it.